viewers watching all over the world. My name is our Prophet Elijah Bamide Lelugolo. By the grace of God, I am the Senior Prophet of Christ as a prayer and deliverance ministry. There is a, a revelation God gave to me that has been bothering me. I have been terrified with this revelation. And this is the reason why I came out to let you know so that every one of us can come together and pray. This is not the time for us to say, I'm a Yoruba man, I'm an Osa man, I'm an Igbo man. This, court, this revelation I saw involved everybody. Everybody is involved. I saw in my vision, we are in the market. A particular product, they were marketing a particular product. And people were not interested to buy their product, but everyone was forced to buy the product. Everyone was forced to buy the product. Everyone was forced to buy the product. It is either you buy the product or you die. It is either you buy it or you die. It is either you buy it or you die. It was so terrified to the answer that said, What is happening? Everyone was forced to buy this product. Everyone was forced to buy the product. No one person could utter a word. And I came and said, Lord, what is happening? And the Lord said to me, I should tell the people to pray now. <laughs> This is how I keep shouting, though. Know, this was how I spoke about Prophet T.P. Joshua. That I said, our federal government should go and see this man before it will be too late. You people do not, do not take me serious. Now, the man, don't die now. The man is gone now. And we speak according to God's instruction. You people will just, will, 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 you'll be sorting me. We are not the things I am saying. You, you see them one by one. You are seeing them. This prophecy is for Nigeria. Nigeria, this prophecy is for Nigeria. Nigerians should wake up and pray. Not this one we are shouting, though. Not this one we are shouting, though. There is a fire I am seeing, or I saw in my vision after 2023 election. This fire, eh? this fire, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This fire, I don't know how to explain it. I'm only speaking as a prophet. I am not a politician, and I will never be a politician. I did not belong to any political party, and I will never belong to any political party. I pray for Atiku, I pray for Tinubu, I pray for Peter B, I pray for Kokoson, I pray for Nigeria and all the government. But this is a fire burning after the election. And I see Peter B trying to quench the fire, trying to quench the fire, trying to quench the fire, but no way. Instead, the fire keep increasing, keep increasing, keep increasing, keep increasing. Peter Obi is the best candidate for Nigeria. But now, I still have not seen him sitting on the seat of the presidency of Nigeria. I still have not seen him. What is your cap? Prophet, what are you saying now? What I'm saying is that the only person who can stand to challenge this fire, who can stand to fight this fire, who can stand to pour water to quench this fire, that I saw in my vision was Alahaji, Atiku, Abubakar. Oh, man of God, you are a, 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 a pastor. Why are, you not, why, why are you not talking about the Muslim? I am not one, the, one of the biggest problems that, that is killing, killing us in Nigeria is one, religion. Two, tribalism. Tribalism and religion. I heard a pastor saying, because he's a Yoruba man, he will not vote for anybody. Man. That is rubbish. I'm a Yoruba man. I can vote for anybody. You have Yoruba in your church, you have people in your church. You have outsiders in your church. Whether you are a Muslim, you are a Christian, we are one. The fire I am seeing after the election. Amen! 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 I'm going to test a colonel. A carnal man can never understand the things of the spirit. Something has gone wrong in the realm of the spirit. Something has gone wrong. Not be everything we utter see for bush. Not be the top for matto. Something has gone wrong spiritually. We have to pray because I have not seen this without being sitting on the seat of the presidency. The fire I saw after the election. This fire will be so much that 
If we are not careful, every one of us will be forced to buy a particular product and nobody will be able to speak. Now, my counsel is that whether you belong to APC, to PDP, to uh, Labour Party, that is none of my business. Whoever God choose is the right candidate. But my counsel and what I saw when this fighter was, I, I said I was not going to come and get online to talk anything about this policy. But what I saw in these few days about this fire, I said, no, I can't hold it. And I saw I think who came out to assist Peter B in quenching the fire. He's quenching the fire. If not for him, that fire would have consumed everybody. So if you are a man of God, you have to interpret this vision. How do you interpret it? The earlier we start looking at the better for us. Atiku Abubakar was the one I saw quenching the fire. And the fire quenched. Peter Obi tried his best, but he could not. And I saw Atiku quenching the fire, and the fire quenched. The only person that can stand this fire is Atiku Abubakar that I saw in my vision. I am not, I am not, I am not forcing you to believe what I'm saying, you know, you can insult me or you can say anything you want to say, but when time reach, I will play back this video to you, then you will know that there is a prophet in this land. Not all prophets are coward. I am not a coward. This is what I've come to tell you. The earlier we start now, the better for us. As you will be forced to buy a product that you never needed, and you will not be able to say a word. This is what God said we should do. You that is going to watch this video and share this video. Anyone that is on a mission to force you against your wish. To force you against what you don't want. If you shout amen, the person will sleep and not wake up. Power aside to stop you and your glory, I bury them. Power aside to stop this country, I bury them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever God have in mind to do for the nation, let him do. I urge you, my people. I urge you, Nigeria, let us stick fast now. Yes, Atiku does not have good character. Maybe my dog does some things that are not good. That's not my business. So I saw him quenching the fire out. I saw Atiku quenching the fire out. I saw Atiku quenching the fire out. The earlier now, we start looking. To that direction, the better for us. I pray that God will give us a right leader. I pray that God will give us a, a, a leader who will feed the pain of the masses. May the hand of God rest upon you all. Affliction will not rise again the second time. God bless you. God keep you. As you share this video, tell people to where it's supposed to get to, you will never weep. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.